Hey folks, this is Casey and I'm one Mellow Marigold, although I gotta admit, I am feeling slightly less mellow <laughs> at this exact moment. Today's video is gonna be me ripping out carpet for the first time. Uh, this room is the room of horrors. This is the room I've had blocked off. If you watched my uh, last updated farmhouse tour video, uh, this is the room I said I was gonna start renovating first. Uh, it's a horror show for a few reasons. The previous owner basically lived in this space. This was her office, her living room. I think she slept in here a fair amount. Um, she had cats that didn't have clean litter boxes and were just allowed to go wherever. <laughs> this is also the room where unfortunately the owner did meet her maker. <laughs> so, uh, there's some really disgusting things in this carpet, which is why I've had it closed off since I moved in, but nothing can happen in this room until I get this disgusting carpet out. I did pull up a small corner before just to see if it was hardwood or some other kind of flooring underneath, and there is um, vinyl flooring underneath. Under that should be hardwoods, but we have no idea what the floors are going to look like in general. Um, the goal today is just to get up the carpet and then maybe we'll see if we can pry up what's underneath to see what the hardwood looks like. We're just going to have to find out. We're just going to do this together. Uh, so I've never pulled up carpet. As we do, I went to the YouTube University, watched some great videos. Um, I am armed today with my safety glasses. Uh, I will definitely be wearing a mask because you. Um, I've got myself a nice sturdy blade. I've got gloves and I've got lots of garbage bags. Now, I'm sort of prepared in advance for disposal because out here, um, if I were to just roll it up, I'd have to pay for somebody to take it away. But if I make the rolls small enough and they fit in garbage bags, I could just stick them in with my regular garbage. Quite honestly, not all of us have the shoulder, arm, back strength to haul around big rolls of carpeting, which is probably why a lot of people don't end up taking it out, but wish me luck. <laughs> okay, in addition to the garb, I've also got super old clothes on, so then if we feel like we just need to burn them, we can do that after. <laughs> This is where I had scratched up the carpet before to see what was underneath. And in looking for a good spot to keep pulling, what I noticed is that when I pull up on the carpet, it's pulling up the linoleum too, uh, which scares me a little bit because I don't know that I'm ready for the linoleum to come up. So I'm gonna try to cut up to this corner and then see if it's gonna be easier for me to pull back. Look at Hilda, she just wants to play. Is it like nailed down? Jesus. <laughs> it might be. The carpet might be nailed down to the linoleum. There's no tack strip. Ew. Or big staples. It is just stapled really well. Okay, okay. Oh, this linoleum is gonna come right up.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I only have half done. This is the last little bit on that side to do. Um, this has been awful <laughs> because the vinyl flooring isn't tacked down at all. Like, so every time you try to pull the carpet up, the flooring starts wanting to come up with it. And so you have no leverage. You can hear me fucking huffing and puffing. <laughs> I realize I have a mask on, but still. Um, yeah, this has been awful. My garbage can is filling up. They pick up tomorrow. I'm gonna get this last roll out of here. Get that into the dumpster. And then we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna peek under the flooring here and see what those floors look like underneath. Okay, let's get after it here. I bet my mom is watching this so worried that I am gonna hurt myself severely. <laughs> it's okay, mom, I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh. Let's see if we can wiggle it out now. Oh, oh, there's so much mouse shit in here. Look at this. Look at all the mouse shit. Oh, it makes me so sad. I mean, the previous owner was an awful person, <laughs> but nobody deserves to live like this. Let's get this rolled up and get it out of here. Let's pull up a little bit of the flooring and see how awful <laughs> the floors, hopefully the hardwood floors are what's underneath this layer. exciting <laughs> no big reveal well that was not exciting I'm worried that the sub flooring means the original wood floors are like even worse than I thought <laughs> whatever we shall just see right I'm pooped we're gonna deal with the other half tomorrow I'm gonna take a hot bath <laughs> forget all the ickiness that I saw We'll meet you back here tomorrow. Okay. Hey friends, welcome back to day two. Uh, I gotta be honest, it was kind of hard to drag my butt in here <laughs> to finish this job because it it's just gross. <laughs> uh, before I get started today, I brought the shop back in. We're gonna at least clean up the piles of mouse poop that are here. <laughs> just so I'm not like tracking things in and out, right? I got a couple of things to move out yet, or at least move to the other side of the room. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Wish me luck. <laughs> well, that came up a little easier than the rest of the room did. Uh, either they ran out of enough flooring or decided us not to worry about it. So that is, um, I think carpet just flipped upside down instead of a pad and then like cardboard. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and rip that out too. Let's see if we get another good pull. We did it. 
This is, I think, maybe the most disgusting thing I've ever done. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. Uh, there's still carpet up in her bedroom upstairs, but after this, like, that's going to stay for a while. <laughs> um, okay, so we're done. I got all the carpet out. It is in my dumpster. Um, as far as this room goes, um, walls. So all these are plaster and lathe. Um, so this is all gonna come down. Um, that will be the next task. I am not going to handle this wall quite yet just because it's the outside wall and it's the dead of winter. So that feels like something I should do in the spring or summer. Um, I've also gotta be really careful around the fireplace. As you can see, um, it's been Plastered and replastered and plastered and replastered a million times. There's been leakage. Uh, it looks like there's some mold pushing through. So before I do anything in this area, um, I'm gonna have the chimney guys come out and give me their opinion on what should be done. I don't wanna take all this down if like the chimney's gonna crumble. <laughs> It, right and so they maybe can tell me a little bit better how to do that safely uh, I got a question for y'all if you have old home remodeling experience I would love to know what you think about trying to take up the subfloor uh, I'm leaning towards not which is a little disappointing uh, because I would love to see if we could rehab them but the subflooring is screwed in, like really good. Uh, not nails. I thought if it was nails, maybe I could pry up a corner or two and just see what the wood underneath looks like. Uh, but everything is like really well screwed down. And there's also uh, some warping of the floor and maybe the foundation settled, whatever but it all is sort of sinking down to one point. There's some warping going on down there. So my gut is kind of telling me they put that subfloor down for a reason. They didn't try to rehab the floors for a reason, but mm, I don't know what I don't know. So if you have experience pulling up subflooring in old homes, let me know what you think, if you think it's actually worth it to give it a go or not. I am comfortable finding cool vinyl flooring to put down or even carpeting. I don't know, we'll see. Probably not carpeting, probably vinyl flooring. Um, I'm comfortable doing that if that's the most reasonable option. If I can find decent flooring, then I'd love to rehab it, but step by step. So let me know what you think. Um, this was a doozy. I'm filthy. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go take a very long hot scrub and soothe my muscles. I feel like I'm gonna be hurting a whole lot tomorrow. Uh, but this is great. Honestly, I feel so accomplished. I feel really good that we got this out. That had to happen before anything else could happen. And now it did and hoorah, right? So here we go. Thanks so much for watching. I really love you guys. Thank you for all your encouragement and support, I appreciate it more than you know. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that red button. And if you hit the little bell, then you'll be told when my videos pop up. Love you so much. Hope you have a great day. I'm going to talk to you real soon. Bye.